Maybe you're a new player to the Farming Simulator franchise, or just curious, what's this in-game tutorial all about? Well, that is what we're going to aim to do today. We're going to walk through the base game tutorial that is a part of Farming Simulator 25 here on River Van Springs. Maybe, just so possibly, so you don't have to. Or if for some reason you're stuck on the tutorial, maybe give this video a watch and figure out where to go next. It's mid-morning when you arrive at your new farm. Walter, your grandfather, is no longer able to look after the farm, but you are now going to take over. Familiarize yourself with the game before you go meet your grandfather. Left-click to say OK. The guided tour. Let's start with the interface. You will find all the important information on your screen. So in the upper right corner, we have our weather. We have the date or month. We have our time. And we have our bank balance. To the lower left, we have the mini-map. And then now into the upper right again, we have our tour progress. Now, as far as moving about, we're going to use the WASD for player movement. And we can control where we are looking with the mouse. If you do happen to have a joystick, then you can also use the joystick to look around. Now, we need to make our way over to Walter, who is our grandfather here on the farm. Gonna make our way over here to this glowing red area. And when we get up here, we're now gonna be able to talk to Walter and other neighbors here on River Van Springs by clicking the R button. So we're gonna have left click, and now we're gonna hit R. You can also hit F1, and that's gonna bring up the F1 menu in the upper right. And it's gonna tell you hit R to start a conversation. Welcome to our lovely farm, kiddo. I'm glad you're here to continue the family business. The fact that you're about to take over the farm makes your pops quite happy, not gonna lie. When your father told me on a visit that he didn't want what I built here, I thought that was it. He even called it a dung heap when he left in his fancy suit. <laughs> and then he stepped into manure on the way to his car. It's okay that he does his own thing, but I thought I had to sell the farm. Thanks to you, it can stay in the family. You don't know what that means to me. Otherwise, your crazy uncle might have turned it into an amusement park with the main attraction of catching chickens on the fields or something. Anyway, let's not talk about that just now. I can tell you some stories later. And just so you know, I'm not out of the picture just yet. I'm here if you need me. Just like your friendly neighbors, you should talk to sometime. They're nice people. A bit strange, perhaps, but still delightful in their own ways. So, do you want me to give you a quick tour and show you some things? So this is how we're going to be interacting with the characters that we do talk to. Once we're given an option to choose, we can use the up or down arrows to basically tell the person what we want to do yes give me a tour please or no thanks i know what to do if we want to bail on the tutorial now's a good chance of doing that by saying no thanks i know what i want to do but we're not going to do that because i'm going through this so you don't have to yes give me the tour please okay then let me show you a couple of things ease you in there will always be people to help you out but it's good to have done all the steps yourself at least once Right next to the farm, we're going to work on a field. There's also a big tractor with a cultivator. I'll walk you through how to operate it. I can't wait to see you get started. All right, now we need to make our way to the barn on your right side, according to the tour progress in the upper right. If we turn to our right, up oh, there we have a little dot at the barn. And we're going to make our way over there. I have to tell you, this guy is spry because, whoa, how did you beat me over here? Are you ready to roll? Then hop onto the tractor and attach the cultivator. It's just to the back. Okay, so here we go. This is the tractor we need to get into. <laughs> and I got it to work. 
<laughs> Sorry about that. The guided tour says we hit E to enter. So that's also what the F1 menu is going to tell us when we approach the vehicle. E to enter the vehicle Just as a like driver. That. Exactly. Now we do the work. Meet me at the field over there. So, just like walking around, we can use WASD to drive our vehicle. If you have a wheel and pedals, or if you have a controller, well, you're gonna obviously use other buttons to do that. So let's left click there. W to accelerate. A, or S, yeah, A and D, sorry, to steer. And we're gonna hit come here around the back. To the field behind the barn. Now I can scroll in and out to zoom the camera. And I can hit C to change the camera to be inside or outside. Here we are. So before we can sow anything on the field, we need to take care of the stubbles, cultivate it, prepare it for the next season. Otherwise, the grain will not grow very well. Lower the cultivator and drive straight ahead. It's easy as spilling milk. Okay, so we are going to left click up in the upper left. It says current controlled vehicle and you'll see that there's a little gray tractor and then a white icon behind the tractor that's basically saying that the implement is what is currently selected we hit g to change between tractor and implement or if we have multiple implements to between implement and implement and v to lower our cultivator so with the lower cultivator or with the cultivator selected because it's white in the tutorial up there at F1, we're going to hit V, and we have our lowered it down. And we can also see our first hints of the ground deformation here with respect to our Challenger tractor being in the field. And our cultivator is basically erasing said deformation as it is working the ground. And now we're just going to work this little section of the field that is not cultivated. Some general more information on the HUD here. In the lower right, we have our speed, and we have our tachometer, we have our fuel gauge, we have a maintenance gauge, we have the number of hours on our tractor. We have a gear indicator as to what gear we're in. And then 40 is basically telling you the top speed of the tractor. If we were to engage cruise control, well, that would be the target speed. But this implement does not have a working speed that fast, so we wouldn't go that speed. And inactive is simply telling you that the guided steering feature of Farming Simulator 25 is not enabled at the moment. Now I'm picking my implement up at the end of each run. You don't have to do that. You could just choose to keep it lower down. In theory, it's going to be best practice to work the interior of the field first and then work the exterior of the field last. That way, just kind of like painting the floor or painting a wall. Uh, washing the floor. You want to clean it and uh, not trap yourself in a corner. You want to work your way out to a corner or to a door. The field work, you want to do the interior and then work the exterior of the field last. That way when you drive off the field, you're done working it. You're not going to have to drive over top of what you just did. So we're almost done we got basically one more pass to go here or walter will tell us what our next steps are going to be good we're done here kiddo 
Now drive back to the garage and get out the cedar. I'll meet you there. All right, so we hit V now to lift our tool once we're done doing our field work. And we're going to, again, good practice to drive off the field. We don't want to drive through the field in order to get back to the barn. Now we change tools, kiddo. Get rid of the cultivator and attach the cedar. Okay, so we're going to hit Q, which is going to detach the current tool. Now you need to attach the cedar. Drive back slowly. And we're going to reverse into the barn. So the keyboard, we're hitting S to do that if we're not familiar with driving with a keyboard. When we get close to the implement, we're going to be prompted to hit Q to attach. That's how it's done. The sewing machine you just attached is empty. But don't you fret, I just went to the store. Next to the shed, you will find a big bag with seeds. Get over there to fill the seed. Okay, now it says next to the shed, but there's a bag of seed literally right beside us. So as we detect the seed, our seed doors are going to open, and we're going to hit R to fill. We can see now inside we have seed. Well done. Now you're ready to go. Let cultivated fields are ready to be sown. It's pretty straightforward. Drive the machine to the field and meet me there. We'll bring out canola. Okay. So now we go to the field directly beside the one we just worked in. Here we are. One thing you need to pay attention to is timing. Plants need to be sown in specific seasons. It's midsummer. It's the perfect time to sow canola. In any other period, you might want to switch to a different kind of crop. You can always check the crop calendar. First, we need to prepare the seed. Choose the canola seeds, as the big bag is filled with all kinds of seeds. So, in Farming Simulator, we have Magic Seed. And the magic seed will seed whatever we want. But uh, we need to basically configure the seeder to make magic seed turn into canola seed. So on the right, just above our speedo, we now see what we have selected. We have a thousand liters worth of wheat at the moment. That's not what we want. We want to hit Y. And after we left click, then we can hit Y. And we change that over to canola. Easy. While seeding, straight lines are important though. Go back and forth to bring out the seed with as few gaps as possible. At some point, you'll have to buy a big bag of seeds at the store to refill it. But now you can use what you've got. Now, you've only got to switch the machine on and lower it to the ground. Okay, so we're going to use G again to make sure our seeder is selected, and B to turn it on, and then just like our cultivator, V to lower it down. Let's get lined up. Make sure we're selected. We're going to hit B to turn it on, and we're going to hit D to lower it, and now we are off to the races seeding our crop and of course the goal here that's how it's done kiddo oh by the way always keep an eye on the weather according to the weather forecast it's going to rain soon that's perfect for canola 
but not as good for the wheat on the other field. If you want to hire a helping hand at some point, you can. We're done here. The helper will do the rest. Okay, what I was going to say is, ideally you want to run in as straight a lines as you want. You don't want to miss sections, or you're going to have sections of the field that aren't growing any crop. But, we can hire a helper now. So we're going to left click. We're going to hit H. Good job. To field do that. Are great support. If you're busy and you'll see our character change. You may not have seen that. Now, get back now what is he doing? Get out the harvest. I don't know. He's Let's trying to figure out where he wants to I'll start working. It. And once he figures out where he wants to start working, well, he'll start putting seed in the ground. But it's not for us to sit here and keep tabs on him. What we're going to do is we're going to hit tab, and tab will take us to you are. other vehicles. How do you feel? Are you up for something So exciting? as opposed to simply walking. Because we'll do the harvesting thing. There's a right field that needs taking down. You still up for it? The header for the harvester sits on the trailer attached at the back. Let's meet at the field, okay, kiddo? But drive carefully. That machine is a beast. All right, Grandpa. Okay. All right, so what I was saying is instead of getting out of the vehicle by hitting E again and walking to your next vehicle, you can just hit tab to cycle around. So there's our helper, or, well, I don't know what happened to our helper. It looks like he's just left, but anyway. It's just a tutorial after all. So we need to go across the road here. Now we'll say Maybe it's evident in the mini-map as to where you need to go. It's not so evident to me, though. So, when I did this tutorial run through the first time, uh, without recording it, of course, I was a little lost as to where I needed to go because I wasn't able to see the, uh, the indicators on the mini-map. So your mileage may vary on that. But here we are. This is where we need to go. Now, typically I wouldn't pull the trailer into the field like this, but okay. So, let's do this. You'll need to prepare the machine. With a combine harvester, the header cuts the plant. Those headers have different widths, depending on the size of the combine. Go detach the trailer. Then drive the harvester with its front to the header and attach it. Okay, so we're going to hit Q. To detach, remember that's the same button we hit to attach and detach the cultivator. We're gonna wheel our way around here to the header. We're gonna nose into the header. And we're gonna be prompted once again to hit Q to attach. Good, you're almost set now. Before you can start harvesting, the grain tank needs to be unfolded. Do that. And bring yourself into position on the field. All right, so to unfold the harvester here, we need to hit X. Okay, now that that is done, let's bring yourself back here to this little bit of wheat that's not been harvested. And present ourselves to the field. You can see that the field is nearly done already. I was feeling a lit wobbly in the knees earlier, so I left it for you. Thought you might want to try it out anyway. All you need to do is to steer the harvester into the field. Unfold the tank, start the harvester, and do the rest. All right, so to do that, we're gonna hit B to turn the machine on. With a combine of this size, harvesting takes some time. But soon you will be able to buy a bigger one. Now go at it and show the crop who is the farmer. If you remember, we hit B to turn on the seeder earlier as well. We're going to hit B to lower the header. I don't think he prompted us to do that. 
and into the field we go. Now we are leaving a straw swath behind. That's fine. And if we look at the mini map on the lower left, it may be small to see. I'll try to zoom it in um, in post. But at any rate, we have a degree heading and we have some map coordinate positions. Right now we're going at 5.6 degrees or 5.9 degrees. I feel that this field is not quite north-south oriented, so that's fine. Uh, but if you are working on a north-south field, then you can definitely set your direction based on those degrees. And we're just going to continue to do this. Let's do a little in-person driving. With a header this narrow, this is fairly easy to do and not skip. Really nice animations of the crop being pulled into the middle. Now we can see an indicator here in the bottom of our engine RPM. When we look back and we see the grain going into the tank. Let me finish this up and uh, we'll be right back. Nice one, kiddo. That's it. You have my blood in your veins, after all. Harvester has a limited capacity to store the crop. Now we need to unload the wheat onto a trailer to sell it. Prepare your harvester for unloading and unfolding the cotton. All right, so we're gonna hit O. Just gonna unfold the pipe. We're also gonna turn the harvester off now at this point. By hitting B. Pipe will start extending, and the wheat will start to pour out automatically. But we're missing something, aren't we? There's no trailer here just yet. Go get the trailer in the garage. So as I was saying, we're gonna hit B to turn off the harvester. We're gonna hit D to then raise the header. And it told us to hit tab. Come back to the field so we can unload. To go to the tractor that has the trailer connected to it. Just convenient right here. And we're going to make our way now down to the field. And position the trailer underneath the harvester pipe. Empty the tank of your harvester. Pull along to it on the driver's side of the harvester. The trailer is in the correct position directly below the pipe. The harvester will start to unload automatically. Neat, huh? Wait it out until it's unloaded. All right, so now we're unloading. Well done, kiddo. You can either store the crop in your silo, or you can sell it. This load I promised to a vendor friend of mine. He's already waiting for you. So all you've got to do is drive the tractor with the trailer to his unloading station. Now drive to the grain elevator to sell the wheat. Okay, so... Again, this caught me out a bit because I didn't know where on earth I was going. If we put up the, the big map here, it may be evident to you, but it wasn't evident to me. But where we're going to go is we're going to go just south of field 83, just north and 
east of field 81 there's a big yellow dot maybe it's a green dot um, it's got apparently a red circle going around it so let's make our way over here now we can see where we need to go we have just under a thousand meters to go to get there C and we're going to drive inside this point So we had a whole 2,935 liters worth of wheat from that little bit of harvesting. We're going to make our way into town over the bridge, through the water, over the water. I'm just going to zoom out a bit so we can all kind of take the views in. We have a river. To our right, we have our animal dealership. To the left, we have the vehicle dealer. Amongst other things like a gas station. And we'll go ahead and pull in here. This is one of many some. If you don't like the prices you get on the market, you can also store the grain in your farm silo to wait it out. Sell your goods later. But now, let's get to it. Drive the trailer over the tip area and unload. All right, so we're gonna drive over here. And now we are prompted to hit I to unload. Well done. At some point, you'll do this in your sleep. Now, let's go back to the farm, shall we? Alright, now we go back to the farm. And that is going to, for the most part, close out our tutorial at that point. So we see our spot over there on the other side of the river. That's where we need to go to.
This road is going to loop us around. We could have took this road, I think, coming out of the field as well. Tutorial wants to put us. We're gonna have to get out of our vehicle with E. We'll hit R. You're back. Splendid. I started wondering if you joined your father. Well, where were we? Right. You've seen the most important steps on the field now. There's always more to do, like yield improvement, liming, fertilizing, weeding. Those require special equipment. Next thing is gaining a bit of a feel for everything. I'll just leave you to it so you can try out a few things. You don't want your old grandpa meddling with your business all the time, do you? But I'll be here if you need anything. If you want more detailed info, you can also ask Ben. He has been one of my most trusted helpers in the past. He will gladly explain a lot of farming techniques. Now, get to farming. Dung heap indeed. <laughs> You'll do just fine. This farm is your farm now. And that concludes our guided tour. So if we bring up the escape menu, I want to show you where a few other individuals are going to be. They're going to be key to your time here in Farming Simulator 25. So we have Walter right here at the farm. And then we have Ben, who was discussed by Walter, who's literally right around the corner. Over at the animal dealer. We have Kate, and then over at the sawmill, we have Noah, and then we have one more over here by the sunflower maze in David. So those are all of the NPCs that we're going to be able to talk to. They're going to give us missions advice, and other information. We're going to do a follow-up video on the menus here in Farming Simulator 25 and how they have changed. So keep an eye out on that. I want to thank you all for coming out and watching today's video, the tutorial on FS25. There will be plenty more of these videos dropping over the next several days and weeks because there's a whole lot to cover with respect to this game. Some of it is new, some of it isn't, but it all definitely deserves to be refreshed. If you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button if you can. It goes a long way in having YouTube recommend our video out to others. Until next time, happy farming. <clears throat>